Uh, good morning students. In this video, I will be discussing on how to simulate an FTP protocol that is file transfer protocol using Cisco packet tracer. FTP is a simple file transfer protocol that helps in transmitting the file from one system to the another system. So let's start the demonstration. So in order to transmit the file between two systems, so I will connect uh, two PCs, go to end devices, PC, PC not and one more device I will take it as a PC1 and I will take one server that is FTP server and I will take one uh, switch. Okay. So go for connections. I'm taking a <coughs> crosswire through cable. Just connect it with all the nodes. Okay. Now I will just make a note for easy understanding. This will be the FTP client one. Okay. And this let it be FTP client two. So from you can transfer the file from client 1 to client 2 or client 2 to client 1 vice versa anything is possible and this I will make it as FTP server ok and uh, let us name the IP addresses again I will take the note so this IP address let it be 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 that is the server IP address this one let it be 10.1.1.2 and this one let it be 10.1.1.3 ok so this is 10.1.1.3 this is 10.1.1.2 and this is 10.1.1.1 so this is FTP server and this is client 2 and this is client 1 so now let us conf configure the IP addresses uh, ok just click on the node 1 go to desktop IP configuration just set the IP address that is 10.1.1.2 mask automatically it will come class A mask server IP address that is the default gateway server IP address 10.1.1.1 okay similarly set for a second node go to desktop IP configuration set the IP for addresses 10.1.1.3 mask is automatically it will generate default gateway is 10.1.1.1 server address okay just close it now configure the <laughs> give the ip address to the server go to desktop ip configuration give the ip address as 10.1.1.1 and the mask is same give the default gateway same 10.1.1.1 okay we have set the ip addresses now uh, let us uh, uh, make the service enable in FTP server. So go to services. There you can find FTP. Okay. Here by default there is a username and password as Cisco. So let us not disturb that. We will uh, uh, create one more like a uh, uh, username as admin and password is also admin. Okay. Just add it. Okay. Here you can select the permissions like uh, uh, the credentials let it uh, helpful in writing reading deleting rename and list just add it okay now i have created one ftp server with these credentials okay now so now what i will do i will just uh, uh, go for ftp client click on the ftp client and here uh, you can go to command prompt and just ping whether you can reach to the server or not ping 10.1.1. So, what is the server IP address? 1. Okay. And then click enter. So, you can see the server is reachable to the node. So, now what you can do? Just click on this. Go to uh, text editor. So, before go to text editor, you can uh, uh, again go to command prompt and you can just type 
ftp space okay i am just opening this server uh, connected to the server ftp space and then give the server ip address that is 10.1.1.1 click enter now it is trying to connect to the 10.1.1.1 and it is connected it is asking the username username what you have given admin and then password is also admin okay now i am at a server portal okay now what i want to i want to upload a file to the server okay in order to upload a file first you need to create one file okay here only you can go again uh, to the client there you can see one text editor you can create some dummy text hi uh, how are you some dummy file just close it it will ask for the one second a text editor hi how are you just to close this it will ask for uh, do you want to save the document just click enter save it will ask the document name just to give like a um, demo dot txt some file name okay now again i will going to the command prompt here i am in the uh, server portal so just what i will do i will upload that file to the server okay just you can type uh, what is our uh, uh, file name uh, demo.txt so in order to upload the file you need to use the command known as put okay put means we are uploading put that file to server so what is the server file name uh, file name of our uh, document demo uh, dot txt and then click enter then you can see the complete file is writing that is writing file demo.txt to 10.1.1.1 file transfer in progress so complete data is transferred means 10.1.1.1 is what's our server so if you want to know whether that um, file has been uploaded or not just you can give dir cover click enter you can see somewhere the file will here you can see 26th file demo.txt is available in the server directory okay so this is how you can upload the file to the server similarly if you want to download that file uh, by the pc1 from the server do the same process click on the uh, client 2 that is ftp client 2 again go to command prompt uh, just again you log into ftp uh, what is our uh, server 10.1.1.1 click enter so it will ask the admin and password go to admin password is also a uh, username and password save now you are in the server uh, portal just you can give the file name now for this if you want to download you should use the get command instead of put you can use get get space the file text uh, the text file name that is demo dot txt enter so it is seeing the reading the file demo dot txt from the server so file transfer is in progress so transfer complete 11 bytes is received if you want to know whether the file is available here just again click here you can see now the file is at the 26th file okay 11 characters have been received so in this way you can easily upload the file and you can download the file from one node to the another node via server so if you want to see the simulation also just you can go to simulator here you can see one pdu you can take uh, i want to send a file from here to here now anywhere just you click from that node to the other node just click the play button you can see now Mm, the file is going and uploading it to the server from there it is coming back to the client you can see here so now it is coming directly to the client again i am sending back and then it comes here just it is uh, a simulator you can see the tick mark now that the file has been received successfully so in this way you can just uh, uh, simulate a simple uh, file transfer protocol in order to send the file from one system to the another system hope so you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos bye